Hi there. This video will explain how to set up and configure your computer to display with multiple monitors. I'll also outline the productivity benefits and some troubleshooting steps associated with using multiple monitors. Before we get started, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Sean Scott. I'm a graduating senior from Florida State University's Information Technology Program. Here's my contact information. Let's begin. You can set your computer to output to many number of devices, including computer monitors, projectors, or even televisions. Here's a typical dual monitor setup. You can drag your cursor back and forth, drag windows between the two screens. It increases your digital workspace and helps increase productivity. Studies have shown a significant productivity increase when switching to a multi-monitor setup. This increase is most apparent in how a user is able to multitask more efficiently. The largest gains are realized in upgrading from a single monitor to a dual monitor setup. A summary of the study can be found on the link at the bottom of this page. In order to have multiple displays, you must have hardware that can handle it. Here's an example of an NVIDIA video card for desktops. It has two DVI outputs and a TV output. Here's an example of a laptop configuration with auxiliary video outputs. Now I will explain the different cable types, starting with the highest quality. This is a DVI cable, characterized by the white connector end and the square front. DVI is short for Digital Visual Interface. DVI delivers the highest video quality and is the standard for most modern graphics cards. An adapter like this can be used to convert your digital output to an analog VGA output. VGA cables are characterized by their blue connector. This interface offers less resolution and color depth than DVI, but VGA is still widely used, especially with older devices. Some graphics cards have television outputs, such as component video or S-video. The two major graphics card manufacturers are NVIDIA and ATI. Both of these companies are highly respected and produce quality products. The setup examples I'll be showing are for an NVIDIA card because this is the type that I own. Follow the links on this page to find out more information on NVIDIA or ATI. To begin the setup process, plug in your second monitor. Next I'll show you how to configure your operating system to display using dual monitors. For my setup I have a 21 inch primary display and a 19 inch secondary display. This is a good example of how you can use monitors of all sizes to form your multi-monitor display. Specifically I'll be demonstrating using Vista Business 64 bit along with the NVIDIA control panel. But setup procedures are similar between all Windows operating systems. Begin by right clicking on the desktop, click personalize, then display settings. This is the main window where you will set how the screens are logically oriented to each other. Your primary screen is identified with a 1. This is where the taskbar will reside. Windows can be moved from the primary screen to the secondary. The direction in which you will move items to the secondary screen is determined by the setup here. Screen 2 is on the left, so I can move items off the left side of the primary screen onto the secondary. This window is also used to adjust the resolution settings for each display. The primary screen can be changed at any time as well by clicking this checkbox. Additional setup options can be set by going to Advanced Settings, then go to the NVIDIA GeForce tab and start the control panel. Here's a look at the NVIDIA control panel. Inside this control panel, you can set up advanced options such as custom resolutions or you can rotate your display or even set up a clone display. Clone display makes two outputs display the same thing. This is ideal when using a projector or playing videos on your television from your computer. To set up a clone display, right click on the display and hit the clone option. Finally, let's talk about some common troubleshooting items with multiple displays. 
First, if the maximum resolution for the clone is lower than your primary resolution setting, then the resolution for the primary display may be downgraded to the lower resolution. This will cause the screen to flicker and everything will seem larger on the primary screen. This occurs commonly when playing video from your computer on your television because composite nest video cables can only send a maximum of 800 by 600 resolution. Laptops generally have a shortcut command such as function F4 to quickly toggle an external display on and off. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you are more knowledgeable now on how to set up and configure your computer to have multiple displays and the productivity benefits that this can offer.